Having good friends in your life is amazing, but it's also healthy. A study of Australian seniors found that those with a large network of friends were able to outlive others. So the more friends, the better, right? Or is there actually a limit to how many relationships you can have? In the 1980s, researchers were paying attention to the social brain hypothesis, the concept that primates have unusually large brains because they live in social societies. Therefore, the larger the brain, the larger the social group. Oh yeah, I have a lot of friends, so my head's really big. Better. Researcher Robin Dunbar extended this study to human brains. He looked at the neocortical volume to total brain volume and came up with a number. According to his study, you can have 150 casual friends. Known as the Dunbar number, it's actually more of a range between 100 to 200 friends depending on your social ability. Any more friends than this and it strains the cognitive abilities of our brain. Here's the guest list for the party. Ooh, how many people are coming? 201. 201? 201 cannot process brain shutting down. There are actual several numbers that this study predicts about our relationships. 150 would be the amount of casual friends that you have, the types of people that you would invite to a large party or like a super cool jam. The study also predicts that you can have 500 acquaintances and 1,500 people that you know their face to their name. Oh hey, oh my god, great, it's so nice to see you. Oh my god, um, you're um, Candace. I'm Rachel. Oh shit. The study shows that you can have 50 close friends. You see them often, but you're not overly intimate with them. Then there are the circle of 15 friends that you can confide in and go to for sympathy. Then there are your five best friends. These can be members of your family or even a partner, and they are your closest support group. Guys, I brought you here to tell you something really important. You are my five closest friends. Oh my god! I confide in you! I confide in you! Okay, but can we actually trust these seemingly arbitrary numbers just based on the size of our brain? Is there evidence to back these numbers up? Using anthropological and historical data, the actual numbers to back up this study is quite impressive. Average hunter-gatherer societies were 148 individuals. Professional army companies, whether it was the Roman Empire or the 20th century, Century Soviet Union clock in at 150 individuals. Another way Dunbar investigated his hypothesis was Christmas cards. Researchers had people rank the people on their Christmas card list, and they saw very similar subgroups to what Dunbar had found in his study. Greg, are you done the Christmas cards for 150 casual friends? Yeah, but my tongue hurts a lot. I think I should stop licking these envelopes, it hurts a lot. Can you call the 911? This Dunbar number was hypothesized around 20 years ago though, so have things changed in the era of social media? It feels like it's a lot easier to keep in touch and stay up to date with people with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, follow me. The average Facebook user has 338 friends, so is this Dunbar number of 150 now obsolete? Researchers don't think so. A study was actually done of people and their Facebook friends, and it found that the median number of friends that they had on Facebook was 300. But when they asked them who their actual friends were, the number was more around 75. I can't believe you have them on Facebook. No, oh my gosh, I only keep him here because he's super ignorant and you know his political views are so ridiculous and so it like fuels my inner rage and like keeps me going, you know? Though social media can make it seem like our networks of friends are growing from 300 to thousands of people, the social media might take away from our actual relationships with people. Keeping up with friendships takes a lot of time and energy, so if you're on social media all the time, that's just time taking away from keeping up with those real relationships. Though we love to spend a lot of time on our social media, make sure you also put time into your face-to-face -face friendships. Let us know what you think about these studies. Do you think that you could have more or less friends than what they think? And let us know if you think that social media is really gonna change the way that you have friendships and relationships in the future. So become my friend and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And make sure you subscribe to ASAP Thought for more epic videos. Peace.